going out on the World Wide Web. Sorry for that little stuttering junk. It's Packers number one, Packers underscore one, Packers one, SB Packers are coming to you here. Sorry it's been so long since I've made an update video. I've just kind of been taking this Christmas break, you know, to relax, chill out, have some fun. I've actually got a phone now, as you can see from my layout as I walk over here to grab my phone. The yard is, well, it's not finished, not by a long shot, but it's basically void of foam except for the foam you can see in the furniture factory because I haven't put the roof on yet. That will be taken care of at some point in the future. I'm not sure when. But anyways, just got to paint all this stuff on this roof, paint the interior black, and make this to where my locomotives will actually run on it because I've been operating it, but it's not going too good. But anyways, I've got this area pretty much taken care of. Need a vacuum right there. Still need to do some scenery there. But anyways, it's basically for the most part done. Engine house will be rebuilt. I might have the stuff to kit bash something from some leftover pike stuff parts. I'm not sure. Got my little bus there. And anyways, there's the yard. Mo moving over here. Oh yeah, I added a couple old little trees right there that I had. Laying around. Not much has changed over here. So I have soldered and wired this area up. Only the only change that occurred from that were this for some reason or another one bouncing out a bit. I'm not complaining. It actually look, works better. And to compensate for that and fit this cannery in, I removed a little curve here and just made it a straight shot. So the only changes that were made were from me actually working this around. But oh, and there is one other change. I removed the factory bet down here because thinking about it, it didn't, really didn't fit in too good. And instead I have two spurs. This one goes to an insulation contractor, which I will kit bash from probably a Walther's Pargon heating kit and styrene. And then this is probably going to be scrap here, but it may become pulp wood loading. I'm not sure. Got to work there. Furniture factory is a little bit more mocked up. Cannery stayed the same. Town has changed only in the fact that I'm going to put the Walther, I mean not Walther's, DPM Hilltown Hotel here. I moved that little garage over to here. I'm still not sure the complete and total final placement of that. Anyways, that's well, this will come later on. And I may put a small passenger platform with a little crosswalk coming over and say like the station's right there. But the main story is, so I'm wiring this up. I want to have wired up the whole thing. And hopefully I can... Folks, well anyways, that little pause. And the camera running out of time. Oh yeah, phone. Got the MV3 from Verizon. Unlimited texting, of course, not unlimited talk, but if you've heard my conversations on the phone, you would understand it's a little flip. Actually, let me turn that on. Okay, I'll show you that in a sec. But anyways, I have a bus wired up now. As you can see, I attach down leads to the track here, actually right there that noise of my phone vibrating but anyways worked out pretty good as you can see wired up still need to go back through with some tape and insulate them alright but anyways my phone backgrounds has a 3 megapixel camera on so the backgrounds are actually shots of my layout as you can see love this phone okay Moving along here, and I'll just come around here. Oh, gate Sorry for that. I also worked on the bus over here, as you can see. Now, for those of you who use suitcase connectors, I really do not blame you because uh, that was a lot of hard work right there, and a lot of monster drinking as well as Sam's soda in fact got that for my sister for Christmas and I bought that one when I was soldering so expand my collection there Clemson Tiger Spirit Rag Go Tigers! Swept up in the Music City Bowl not exactly the blowout we were hoping for but CJ Spiller had one heck of a game alrighty oh and Green Bay's in the playoffs y'all 
So anyways, hope you all had a happy New Year's Eve and uh, let's hope to 2010 is a great year for our hobby, eh? Alright y'all.